Greetings, researcher. I have your reading from the Fungolith on the North Pole. Excellent. The data gathered is perfect. Thank you. You have all the readings you need, researcher. There is only one Thongolith left, but its location has forever eluded me. If you find any clues as to its whereabouts, please inform me immediately. Greetings, researcher. Do you have all the readings you need, researcher? There is only one Thongolith left, but its location has forever eluded me. If you find any clues as to its whereabouts, please inform me immediately. Greetings, rotund figment of holiday mirth. Ho, 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 ho! What have we here? A naughty little boy? Well, I'm no naughty little boy. I am Deathbank. <laughs> I think I'll be the judge of who's naughty and nice around here. <laughs> so, which am I? Naughty or nice? Uh, let me check my list. <laughs> Checking it twice. <laughs> there must be some kind of mistake. <laughs> Nobody makes the nice list. Nobody! Hey, I'm just as surprised as you are. I can't kill someone on the nice list. I can't tell you how disappointed that makes me. But I can throw them into the dungeon with no exit. <laughs> what kind of toy is the dungeon with no exit? Is it a fire truck? Isn't it obvious? Don't overestimate me. <laughs> it's a dungeon with no exit. You go in, but you don't come out. <laughs> well, how do you get out then? I don't think you're listening. There is no exit. <laughs> right. I understand that bit. But is there an exit?
Whoa, Santa, what happened to you? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Ho oh, ho! You really put on the pounds! <laughs> Have I really? I haven't changed at all! I'm still the same old Santa! <laughs> I beg to differ! <laughs> it's the world that has changed, Deathbank, not me! <laughs> I always pictured the North Pole to be less weaponized. <laughs> Bringing back the true spirit of Christmas has proven more difficult than I thought. There's a conspiracy at work here, Deathspank. A dark conspiracy. By whom? The naughty, of course. They don't want Christmas to come back. They're out there, pulling the strings. They want me dead. No one is out to get you, Santa. You are a liar, Deathbank, just like the others. What others? I had to strike first, you see. It was a matter of survival. I delivered my special presents to the towns and the airbase. What special presents? <laughs> Let's just say this year, their stockings were filled with boom! <laughs> Where does that giant trap door lead? <laughs> it goes down to a giant furnace we call the Wish Burner. <laughs> oh, you burn the children's Christmas letters? <laughs> it's all part of the naughty conspiracy. The letters are laced with anthrax. <laughs> Did you actually see any anthrax? Well, I can't take that kind of chance. Not before I bring back the true spirit of Christmas! <laughs> so, what's in this dungeon with no exit anyway? Oh, certainly not an exit, <laughs> that's for sure! <laughs> what you will find is the remains of those who went in before you. Then, there's the wish burner, my giant letter disposal furnace. Oh, and a vicious monster made out of burning coals that obeys my every command! <laughs> Why would you have a cool monster? <laughs> Coal just isn't the deterrent it used to be. So I thought, let's make the coal hungry. <laughs> now that's a deterrent. Of course, the naughty children don't tend to live long enough to change their ways. <laughs> Still, I say it's an improvement. <laughs> How has the world changed according to your delusional mind? Christmas has lost its meaning. It's not loved as much as it used to be. It used to be the king of all holidays. It's waited year round for it. But it's slipping in the polls. Did you know that Christmas came in number two last year? <sighs> Do you know what holiday is now more looked forward to than Christmas? Uh, Steve! April Fool's Day! People would rather play cruel pranks on each other than exchange gifts. Oh. Well, pranks are cheaper, you know. See? Even you can't appreciate the true spirit of Christmas. Well, no more! I'm taking Christmas back. By any means necessary. You're killing people, Santa! <laughs> it's war out there! I'll show the world the true spirit of Christmas! <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't involve a body count. 
You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. And I'm making a very big omelet. <laughs> Is that a thong I see upon your person? <laughs> so nice of you to notice. This, the mighty thong of generosity, is perfect for me. <laughs> well, it's certainly not generous to your figure. Its power is helping me bring the true spirit back to Christmas. And once I unite the other thongs, I will make every day Christmas forever! <laughs> Christmas every day? Hmm. What would be the point? Think of it, Deathbank. Every day would be about giving and sharing. There'd be no time for war or hardship. Just companionship and eggnog. <laughs> Nobody can drink that much eggnog. It's not possible. You'll understand one day, Deathspank, after I've revived the true spirit of Christmas. Oh. By killing anyone who stands in your way? Of course. And then I'll collect the other dogs, and Christmas will reign for eternity. <laughs> what do you know about the other thongs? I know there are six thongs in existence, and the more you have, the better. When all thongs are united upon a single groin, the ultimate power is revealed. <laughs> I know the locations of every thong, <laughs> except for one, of course. One thong is missing? No one knows the location of the thong of peace. Of course, <laughs> peace is the last thing on my mind right now. There will be plenty of time to search for it later. After your thong of justice is mine. <laughs> your reign of tyranny ends here, Claus. <laughs> and who will stop me? You? <laughs> Perhaps eternity in the dungeon with no exit will change your perspective.
Hello again, Santa. Oh, 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 oh. I find your persistence to be very naughty. Your reign of tyranny ends here, Claus. <laughs> and who will stop me? You? <laughs> Perhaps eternity in the dungeon with no exit will change your perspective. <laughs> Greetings, researcher. Do you have all the readings you need, researcher? There is only one Thongolith left, but its location has forever eluded me. If you find any clues as to its whereabouts, please inform me immediately. Up and skinny as a twig. No one pays attention to poor little me. But one day I'll have peg legs and a ship that's really big. Yaha, yaha, a pirate I shall be.
Hello again, Santa. Ho, 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 I find your persistence to be very naughty. Your reign of tyranny ends here, Claus. <laughs> and who will stop me? You? <laughs> Perhaps eternity in the dungeon with no exit will change your perspective. Why aren't you unconscious? Protective headgear. That hat? It looks like reindeer skin. No, 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 no. I think it's elk. <laughs> Elks are great. Don't you lie to me. You killed my pets. Cold monster, destroy this murderer. One more corrupt thong wearer stands before the great vanquisher of evil and dispenser of justice, moments away from death. Oh, 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 oh. You can't kill me! You don't want to be known as the guy who killed Santa! As with the other evil wearer of the thongs, the mysterious yet charming Sandy shows up to perform the ritual removal. Great! That's the last of the thongs. Finally! All is right with the world again, thanks to the heroic efforts of Death Spank. Well, not exactly. There's still one more thing left to do, but I can't talk about it here. Haven't you dangled this metaphorical carrot long enough? Meet me at my secret base. I promise, I'll tell you everything. Oh, and you'll probably need this. Greetings, researcher. I've got this thing that kind of looks like it came from a thongolith. Could it be from the missing one you said you've been searching for? No, it can't be, but it is! After so many years of searching, the final piece of the puzzle is mine! Now, I can finally bring my life's work to fruition. Oh, wait here. This will only take a minute. Here it is, my fantastic patent-pending teleportation device. And for your part in aiding me on my scientific endeavors, I shall let you be the first to use it. Shouldn't you test that sort of thing out on a cute animal first? Well, sadly, cute animals for research purposes are quite expensive. I figured a hero would be the next best test subject to use.
Secret moon base, Sandy. Death's Bank, you're here. I guess that means it's time to put the final phase of the plan into action. Plan? What plan? Recovering all six thongs of virtue, Death's Bank. There's just one more thong left for me to obtain. Right! Wait. There are six thongs. Death's Bank, pay attention.
So there are two thongs left? I'm confused. The thong I need is yours. The thong of justice. I'm no mathematician, but I think we're short a thong. You see, I had to fix the mistake my grandfather made so long ago. But I lacked the power I needed to achieve lasting peace. To get that kind of power, there was only one path open to me. Becoming a famous Hollywood star? No. I had to wear the thong of peace myself. Once it was on, I achieved a clarity of mind and soul unlike anything I'd ever experienced. I knew exactly what I had to do to bring everlasting peace. I have to destroy the thongs, Despank. And yours is the last one I need. My thong is perfect right where it is. Thank you. Your quest is at an end, Deathspank. It's time to be the hero. Fine, I guess you can have the thong. Oh, there's one more thing. Before the thong can be removed, the wearer must be dead. Bereft of life? Yes. And I'm afraid you are no exception. To remove your thong, you need to die. But because your thong just resurrects you at the nearest outhouse when you die, I need you to willingly submit to me. So how about it, Deathspank? Will you be my hero? Is that the artifact behind you? Oh yeah, <laughs> that worthless thing. Worthless? I've been searching for it my whole life. Or at least the parts I can remember. You told me the artifact was incredibly important. I told you what you needed to know, Deathspank, to set you on the righteous path. What is the artifact for then? It's a worthless object. An object I use to manipulate you into helping me achieve my goal. I'd say it all worked perfectly, wouldn't you? I got it for two bucks at a garage sale. Can you tell me again why you want me to submit to you? I have to kill you in order to remove your thong. But because your thong seems to resurrect you at an outhouse every time you die, I need you to willingly submit to me. Only then can I kill you and remove your thong, giving me all of them to destroy. You're as insane as the rest of them! You must be stopped! Well, we'll just see about that now, won't we?
Sandy died that day like a true hero. A corrupt, annoying, lecturing hero, but a hero in these eyes. I buried her on top of a small hill where she could look down on my new wicked cool moon base and remain a constant reminder of why I must continue to be a defender of justice, a vanquisher of evil, and a hero to the downtrodden. But the world needs a hero too much to destroy these thongs. I also figured if one thong was this great, six thongs would be even better. Plus, I always wanted to learn how to cook. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the spank phone ringing. The commissioner probably needs me. Gaze upon genius and poor grooming. Sandy. Very well. I will sacrifice myself so that you may retrieve my thong. You're making a very noble sacrifice. I admire that. I really do. Now, strictly for legal reasons, I need you to repeat after me. I, Despank, being of sound mind and body, I, Deathspank, being of sound mind and body... Agree to let the undersigned party execute me. Agree to let the undersigned party execute me. In the manner of their choosing until I am fully dead. In the manner of their choosing until I am fully dead. I hereby relinquish my thong of justice to the executing party. I hereby relinquish my heroic thong of justice to the executing party. Okay, then. We're almost done. Now, sign here. And here. And here. Initial here. Sign here. And initial here. And we're done! Are you ready for everything to be over, Death's Bank? A truly heroic end to a life paved in blood and steel and bacon. Let's get this show on the road. Now close your eyes. On that day, Death's Bank was more of a hero than any other. He was a true defender of justice, a true vanquisher of evil, and a true hero to the downtrodden. Killing him was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But if his thong were to ever become more corrupt, there would be no defeating him. But where he was strong, I was weak. You see, my grandfather never got to finish the Nine Thongs of Virtue. His vision was never realized because of the meddling from upper management, which corrupted the thongs in the first place. But I could not bring myself to destroy the thongs. They were evil and corrupt, but there was good in them. If you just looked through the flaws, 
So I hid the thongs in a place where they would never be found. Maybe one day I'd finish them. Maybe. But now, I grow old. And my tale finally comes to an end. I do have another story to tell. The story of how it all began. But I am tired. And I must rest. <laughs>